Hi folks, it's uh, Adam Schneider here. I'm one of Rachel's coaches and a fairly successful e-commerce seller. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use Custom Happy's integration with Order Desk to fulfill orders from Etsy, Amazon, and I think even eBay if you want to do that too. Um, the real benefit of using Order Desk is that you can push any order through or reject any order and you can also sort of integrate customizable orders it, it does save a little bit of time uh, when you're dealing with customizable orders which I'm uh, dealing with a lot this year I have a whole bunch of customizable orders and uh, I'm gonna need some uh, some kind of process to to sort those orders out so what order desk does is it pulls in the order from your integrated platform so in this case I have Amazon Amazon Canada and Etsy so it pulls in all of my orders and then I can sort through them and see which ones I want to push over to custom happy and which ones that I want to leave for any other integration or for other fulfillment services so the first thing that you need to know about integrating with order desk and custom happy is don't go and start your own order desk account Okay, so you need to contact Custom Happy first, uh, speak with Sean, and he can set you up with an account that is automatically started for you. You just have to um, give the information. Um, they, they probably are going to, well, they definitely need a credit card. Um, uh, Sean has told me that they cannot do um, basically a floating tab. You have to kind of prepay, so they take a little bit of... Uh, money as sort of a prepayment uh, that helps float your orders because otherwise they might end up paying for a bunch of orders that you know that you you know they don't want you walking out the door not having paid so that's something you have to do you have to set it up beforehand so don't go and start your own order desk account once you've got it set up it's gonna look like this the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to manage integrations you can connect your Etsy and your Amazon marketplace accounts um, don't worry about Dropbox. That's on uh, that's on the uh, Custom Happy side. So there is a Dropbox account that's connected, but it's not your Dropbox account. It is theirs. So how it works is like this. So you're going to see this screen here. This is the the main screen or the new orders screen. So I'm going to sh show you some settings that you should uh, put in place before you get going here. So I'm going to go down to my Etsy integration. And uh, you're going to see these these check boxes in the corner here. I think by default they are checked, but you should uncheck them. So these two check marks down here, uncheck those, and then click Save Changes. You can set all of this to anything that you like. Um, that's really not it's not that big of a deal. Which which your things are. You can manually import orders. And you can manually import inventory items, but I don't know if that does anything with Etsy, so I don't use that. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to show you here how to fulfill orders that are um, customized and non-customized. Okay, so this is perfect. I've got a few things here that I'm not going to put through Custom Happy, so I'm just going to select those and I'm going to send them to a different folder. So you gotta go through, it's getting pretty busy so I'm getting a lot of orders here. Uh, but those are all orders that are handled by the Gearbubble integration so I'm sending those to not at custom happy. Okay so that leaves me with these three here. Uh, I feel like there's probably a few more I'm going to go uh, to my Amazon Marketplace and uh, I might manually import orders. Let's do a quick check here. That's probably going to bring in a few more orders. All right, so. Okay, well, that's not working. All right, well. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So if you want to see what each order is, you go over here and click this this uh, button with the little eye on it, and it'll show you what this is. So 
Um, there's quite a few items, uh, quite a little bit of information in here. And now we just need to connect this to an actual product so that the uh, warehouse knows what you're printing. All right, so I'm going to open up this in a new tab, Inventory Items. Okay, so this is an important screen. You should probably just have this open as a separate tab on the top there. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. It gives me a picture from Etsy of what this is. You don't get this when you're connected to the Amazon store. So what uh, what I've been told is that you should, uh, you can actually have that appear and, um, and it'll show up beside the product. This just helps the warehouse to know what this item is. Oh, I did get that sale from Amazon. Uh, we'll go in and see if we can pull that order in and I'll show you how to fill an Amazon order as well. So this is a customized ornament. It's like this memorial thing for people. It's a, it's a round Christmas ornament. Now, I didn't know that Custom Happy had other sizes of ornaments, so um, you have to make sure that you get the round one in there. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I've never had an order for this product before, so this will be a good one to show you for the first time. Okay, so what I'm going to first do is I'm going to highlight and copy the name. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go up to Add Print on Demand. Okay, and I'm going to copy the name into that box there. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the order and I'm going to copy the SKU, which is going to be that number down there. Okay, so this number comes straight from Etsy and it's your listing number. So if you just type that number in, uh, beside your store name, it would come up with that listing. That the reason that we went to the Amazon or to the Etsy store and unchecked those boxes is because we want that to be the SKU for this. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to put it right there. That way, whenever this item gets ordered, it's going to connect to this inventory item and then you're, it's going to know what what you want to print. So. If you don't see custom happy in this printer, scroll down until you actually do see it. Okay, because there's lots of different warehouses that do connect to um to order desk, which is handy, but you want to make sure you get custom happy in there. Okay, so you get a part number. So I already know that the part number is an ornament and it's the round size, but there's different part numbers for every single different product. Okay. White 11 ounce is going to be something, you know, 15 ounce white is going to be something. So you got to make sure you get the correct part number in there so that they know what it is that they are going to be printing. Okay, print URL. You're going to leave that blank if this is a customizable item. If this is a print on demand item that's the same for every order, then you're going to do something else there. And I'll show you what that is shortly, but we're just going to leave that blank for now. Print location, unless you're doing a different print on the front and back, then you just leave that blank, right? So for, um, you know, this is for clothing or other types of things. So it's not going to be a double-sided print um, because it's an ornament, but if it were a mug, it would be a double-sided print by default. Okay, so we're going to add that item. Okay, now we're not quite finished with the inventory items. we got to go back in here and just quickly add in a few variation details. So I'm gonna type style here, and I'm gonna put round ornament. That way they know it's the round ornament. Now this does pop up too, but this just is very clear. It tells them that this is in fact a round ornament. All right, so I'm gonna save that change once again. I'm gonna go back to my ornament and I'm going to go all the way down here and I'm going to sync that. So if you didn't see what I did, I went down to the bottom of the screen and clicked on sync item details with inventory. That way it, it pulls all of that information I just entered and it puts it in here. So now we have a print SKU. Um, we have the Etsy listing ID and the transaction ID. So pretty much everything is connected here, except we need to make the artwork. I'm actually going to pause the video here and I'm going to make the artwork and I'm going to show you where to upload. Okay, so I've got the artwork all ready to go here 
and I just need to actually put that artwork into this order. So there we go. Now it's there. Now I have to hit upload. Okay, so you got to make sure you do both choosing the file and uploading it. So you're going to see the screen glitch a little bit like this. And now you need to just go and make sure that all of your details are there. So you should see um, this will automatically populate from, from Etsy. This is this needs to be there too, and you need a print URL. Okay, so make sure that you, you don't send your product without a print file because they won't know what to print on it if you don't put the print file there. Okay, so that's it. This is ready to go. And once I send it to this to the main store, I don't have to worry about this again. They're going to make the item. They're going to send the tracking information through. And then the order is basically kind of off my plate. So as you can probably tell, if you've done any customized orders before, it saves a lot of time going and finding tracking numbers, you know, entering customer information into Custom Happy. It's all just right there. And all you have to do is create the artwork. Okay, now that I have this item in my inventory, the next time it's ordered, all I need to do is create the new artwork, upload it, and then send it to the main store because the basic product, that is the round ornament and uh, the name of the the name of the item and the whatever you call that thing, the number from Etsy, the uh, listing number, that's already there. Okay. So that, that'll save you even more time the next time you do it. So I'm going to send that, and it's going to disappear, and then I'll only have a few more listings to do. All right, so I'm going to go and see if I can find that Amazon order that just came in, and I'll show you a couple extra steps that you should do for your Amazon orders. All right, I'm actually going to show you this as well here. Um, sometimes you'll get an order from a customer that's got several different items in the cart so right here we've got this top item here and yes i am blurring out the title because it's going to be a bestseller for me this year so can't really give it away but down here there's just a regular old print on demand item so that's already going to be integrated through the gear bubble integration so i want to remove that so i'm going to just i'm going to split this order oh shoot i think i should have done that um, I might have to redo that here. Okay, no, I did do that correctly. So what that did is that split that order into two different products here, and now I can just remove the one that I'm not shipping with Custom Happy. So that's going to be this one here, and I'm going to I'm going to go back to my screen here, and I'm just going to move that to not at Custom Happy. That way, the only item that's going to get fulfilled out of that order is the one that I want, and the other one gets sucked in through gear bubbles integration and it's all good so uh, I'm gonna wait and see if that Amazon order comes in here and then I'm gonna show you guys some things that I do with Amazon to uh, to give the warehouse more information when they're fulfilling the order all right fabulous my order showed up so this is the order from Amazon that I was referring to and I'm going to show you guys how to set up an Amazon item and there's just a few small details that you're going to do just slightly differently to make this item uh, actually fulfillable. All right so the first thing of course you do just like with your Etsy order click on your order ID and go into the order so that you can start creating an inventory item for this. Okay so I'm going to copy and paste the title once again I'm going to add print on demand. Copy that in here. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab that SKU. That's right there. Copy that. Run over here. Pop it in there again. Okay, so my printer is already selected. The part number here, I already know this is an 11 ounce mug. And I already know that this is the 11 ounce white part number for it. Once again, I'm not putting a print URL in there um, because this is customized. Customized and uh, it sounded kind of French there. 
and I, I don't want this to to override anything. So uh, if this was not a customizable item, you would put a print URL in there by going to this order. You would upload, you would choose a file and upload it, and it gives you a print URL right there. Then you would copy this into your print URL, and that way that file is always going to be connected with that product right there. Okay, So you're not doing that if this is customizable. So I'm going to add that item, then I'm going to go back in my inventory items, and I'm going to find that item, if I can. It can get cluttered here if you've got a lot of items, so make sure that you organize everything properly. I'm going to put uh, style and 11 ounce white mug. Okay, So that information just helps the warehouse to know what it is that this product is going on to. Now I'm going to save that again and we're done. Well, mostly done. So I'm going to come over here again and sync that item details with my inventory and that populates uh, all of that metadata that we talked about before. Now everything is here. I'm going to make sure that everything that should be there is there except for the print. URL and again I'm going to show you guys how you upload that. I'm going to go actually make that. Hey guys so uh, I've actually sent that uh, order here to Custom Happy. Sorry I didn't show you the upload process again. I forgot to hit the record button but uh, if you missed it what you're going to do is you're going to go into your order you're going to hit that upload button with that Dropbox logo in the corner you're going to choose the file that you want to add to it then you're going to hit the upload button and it will populate that right here so now I'm going to tell you one last thing that you need to do to verify that your your everything is good so what I have noticed is that once in a while when you send your product to the custom happy store it will drop it will somehow delete that print file and I thought I was going crazy but I've just verified it because I just sent an item over here and it and it stripped off the the print file which you need for printing it so what I recommend you do is and this is gonna take a little bit more time but it verifies that it's correctly done go and click into your product and make sure that that print file that print URL is showing so you're just gonna have to hit that down arrow and then if you see print URL and it's got something beside it you're good to go if you don't see anything beside it then re-upload your image and, and and hit the upload button again uh, because um, you just don't want to run into any problems where it will delay the, the shipping of the product or anything like that so that's my recommend recommendation to you guys hopefully you'll uh, find that order desk is a fantastic product um, I can imagine if you had a hundred orders in one day all of them customizable you could probably send them all through here in about I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, maybe even a little less if you just really get get yourself working there. So, I mean, that is a phenomenal increase in the speed. And once it's here, you basically just forget about it because the tracking is going to get sent back to your customer and everything gets taken care of automatically. So it's an amazing product, and I'm very happy to see that Custom Happy has added it as a feature. And I plan on, you know, expanding my use of this uh, greatly greatly because so, customizable products are huge but one of the things that has been kind of a pain is that you know it takes more time to fulfill the orders so um, with this here uh, that removes a lot of the the pain and suffering of tracking down information filling in copy and pasting it just kind of smooths the, the process out but it is a bit of a technical hurdle to get over hopefully this video gave you uh, a lot of the detail that you're going to need to know. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always uh, just uh, send an email to Sean at customhappy.com. He's a really awesome guy. He actually walked me through this the other day, and, and I said to him, uh, how about I create a free video for your guys so that people know what they're doing, because I think people are a little bit intimidated by this process here. So he agreed to that, and that's why this video exists. All right, guys, have fun. Get selling.
make money. See you on the next side.